Louisiana Beer Reviews looks at Stone, Stone Patascala. Okay, this red India Pale Ale was introduced in September of 2015. This is a special edition, a revisit. I haven't had the Patascala in a good while. This was given to me by David, my part-time brewing, <laughs> brewing, no, reviewing partner. 7.3% alcohol, 75 IBUs. It's already after 8.30 a.m., people. It's going to be warm today, about 83 into the mid-80s. Very humid. This gets a 91 on Beer Advocate, so they're saying A-. minus. Uh, an A, a solid A on rape beer. They use Red X German malt. The hops are Mosaic, Cascade, and Amarillo. Amarillo, and they're dry hops. This is the thing about this beer. It's a dry hopped beer. Nah, it's not a painted label like you used to see. It's a stick on label, shucks. Everybody's got to economize. So it probably won't taste as good since it's not a painted on label, but it'll be all right, I guess. So thanks again, David, for this little smoke. Ooh, that's already looking hazy and dank. Whoa, look at that head. That is a beige, almost tan head, and that is a brilliant orange appearance. Not red, but like um, burnt sienna. Now from that direction, the sun shining at it, it's like a more of a gold red brown appearance, but with the sun shining through it, it's a brilliant burnt sienna. Okay. Rich red ale, red malt. Think along the lines of Murphy's Lady, Lady Wells Red Ale, known as the Murphy's Red Ale to date. I used to not like red ales because it was something about that tannic, tea-like quality bark that didn't appeal to me. And then I grew to like it now. It's one of my favorite styles. Line, uh, line and kugels. Um, don't try suicide. Okay, so this one, the Murphy's Red Ale, the um, George Killian's Irish Red Lager in France. It's a red ale at, I think, 6% alcohol. It's a mild red lager in America okay so it's a rich aroma and that's gonna turn some people off that tannic thing is gonna turn some people off you, you almost even get like a stomach acid type thing like if you kinda um, <clears throat> have that little uh, problem that people will have like you kinda burp something up <clears throat> you know that's not gonna appeal to people but it does have that, so it's one of these questionable ones. You might love it, it might repel you and sicken you. It's got the date, guys. Um, it says bottled on something 2717, I think January 1st. And enjoy by, it's kind of hard to read this, but April 27th. So we're within the the Best Buy date, guys. Put the damn date! And they did it. Strong malts. A little of that. <clears throat> Ugh, spit up taste. Um. Very bitter, 75, and it's a full 75 out of 100 IBUs. I mean, it's strong. Oh, I wouldn't want to drink this every day. Once a month, yes. Twice a year, oh, yes, yes, yes. Once a year, most definitely for sure. The tannic, the red malts, a little sourness.
like I say, you're two and a half years old and you're laying there on the carpet and you up chuck a little bit. So that's going to not, <laughs> you say, what are you talking about? That's not going to appeal to everybody, right? You know, right, but anyway, uh, so it's a little harsh, a little abrasive. If mild is your scene, uh, you might want to go with the, the uh, you've never had a red ale. This is not going to work, probably. You might want to go with um, George Killian's Irish Red Lager. You're going to probably find that a good deal more enjoyable. It doesn't have as high, obviously, India, India. It doesn't have as high uh, international bitterness units, but the thing about the Killian's, you might find that it has a much higher international enjoyment unit, i.e. use. The IEUs might be much higher on that, especially with um, if you're going to drink a, a, a few in a day. I think if you drink more than one of these, the IEUs would be really low. But for the exquisite gourmet, you know, nature for of of beer drinking, it's going to be really fine. It's just a little rough, you know. It's it's um, it's not for the wimps. It's for the more cultured craft beer uh, reviewers like myself and you. We're more erudite than you are. We're more erudite than you are. I still think it's an A beer. There's a little fish oil in it too, like a fish oil taste, fish scales. So. Mm -hmm. Still an A, say like 94, 95 type situation. Now I have this called Great Midwestern Colby Jack Cheese on these buttery crackers and I put some Louisiana brand hot sauce on it. They said that this type of cheese, the DCI Cheese Company, which is part of Sapporo, not Sapporo, what is it, Sapporo Cheese, founded in 1954 in Montreal, Canada by Sicilian immigrants. There's a beverage pairing and they said that this should pair well with an IPA. That's a red IPA, more like a red ale than an IPA honestly. Okay, a super hoppy red ale if you want to be technical. It's not exactly pale. But it is an ale. I think it does pair well. It kind of cuts the harshness of that beer. Also, I found out that hams is sold in Louisiana now. Two bar rooms on the east bank of the Mississippi River in New Orleans. And two Walmart stores on the west bank in in uh, Jefferson Parish across the river from New Orleans. The Berman Highway Supercenter and the West Bank Expressway US Highway 90 business route west, uh, westbound service road area at the Walmart Market. And it's just like a grocery store. So, looks like it's time to go west, middle-aged man. I'm going to have to go to the best bank again for Italian food purposes and beer acquisition purposes, it looks like. University of New Orleans baseball, first Louisiana baseball team to go to the Division I College World Series in 1984. But they didn't win it, but anyway. <laughs> See, y'all come on down to New Orleans, go to Privateer Park at the lakefront, University of New Orleans. Watch a baseball game. You want to drink a good, albeit a little harsh and oddball beer. <clears throat> oh, sorry, I coughed up and I um, <laughs> spit up in the beer. Oh, it tastes just like. Didn't change the flavor at all. Maybe I'll go eat some, chew on some fish scales. No, but honestly. I'm being silly, but I mean, it does really have those kind of flavors. So for uh, a, a 
laissez les bon temps relais, a very interesting, although somewhat, like I say, odd item. Um, trying to see if I, no, I don't really see any particulate matter. It's becoming more ruby as the sun becomes stronger. I recommend it with some trepidation on uh, taking into consideration how you might feel about it. I like this cheese company. You take care.